The people from Scotland might be forgiven for thinking that World War II was far from its coastline. Throughout Britain's history, the threat has always been from the south and from the North Sea. Radar station RAF Drone Hill, City of Glasgow squadron working out of RAF Abbots Hinch, now the site of Glasgow International Airport. To secure the defences from the North Sea, it moved to Grangemouth and then to East Lothian to RAF Dren. And 603 Squadron were based out of RAF Turnhouse to the west of Edinburgh. And one of the key locations for any enemy bomber was Naval Base Resyth. This was a prime location for the Navy because it gave access to the North Sea. At 9.20 in the morning of the 16th of October 1939, RAF Drone Hill picked up two unidentified aircraft heading towards the Scottish coastline. 25 minutes later, one aircraft was spotted over Gala Shields and the other was spotted over Dunfermline, heading on a westerly path. Three aircraft were deployed to the Isle of May from East Lothian. Two town-class Navy cruisers were anchored off the east of the 4th Railway Bridge, HMS Edinburgh and HMS Southampton. Also in the 4th of 4th was HMS Mohawk and HMS Jarvis. A spotter from HMS Edinburgh saw one of the Hinkles heading towards RAF Drem. The RAF fighters that were sent to the Isle of May were told to head towards Dunbar and intercept. As the RAF headed into an attack formation, the Hinkle headed for Cloud. Realising they might miss their opportunity, Blue Section opened fire. The first shots of the air war of Britain had started. The Hinkle escaped and managed to land in Zilt across the North Sea safely. For the remainder of the morning, 602 Squadron responded to different events from Dunbar to Peterhead. On a few occasions, they had to refuel at RAF Lookers at St Andrews. By midday, the RAF crews seen everything go back to normal. However, the Luftwaffe that was there in the morning weren't carrying bombs. They were fitted with camera equipment on reconnaissance missions. Radio went back to Germany, information such as Response times for the air defence and what types of aircraft What ships were moored in the 4th of 4th And the weather at the time Thanks for visiting and look out for part 2